Hey. Hello. I have a girlfriend. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Okay, we broke up. Hello again. Oh, hi. How are you? Nah, but my dog is small like that. She's a Jack Russell boxer mix, which makes her insane, but super cuddly. If you don't respond, I'll put my dog down. Girls being nice. Everyone. I love her so much, she's adorable. I wish there's more people like that. Boys being nice. Everyone. Don't like him. Pervert. Creep. Loser. This world is fair, isn't it? Hey, sorry about all that. I felt like you weren't interested. I probably should have asked if you were or not. Want to meet up again if we get the chance? You're a cool girl. I'm driving, said from my car. No, I have thought about it. And we connect, but not sexually, so I don't want to waste your time on me again. If you want to come down and myrtle and hang with a cool girl, I'm down, but I hope you can find a girl that'll make you happy and that you can vibe with. Sexually? What the frick? I could make you corn a hundred times. You're so basic, it's insane. No wonder you've been single. Let's just freak and see if we connect sexually. I'll be here by 8.30, so that's good. I really love you. I mean, I hope you change your mind, because I'll make it worth it to you and treat you like a queen. Listen, I have no interest in talking to you. I don't want to pursue anything of any sort of a relationship with you. Think of how we was in person. I pray you change your mind. I know you have better play toys. I'm serious, stop messaging me. Just please think over this, please. I would make it up to you, big time. Message me one more time and I'll block you. When I said don't message me, I didn't mean immediately follow me. <laughs> okay, I'm not reading this next message, I'll just... I'll just leave this here for a second and let you... Let you take a look at this. Little bit sick if you ask me. Girls. I just want a guy that will appreciate me and miss me every day. Guy. Hey, let me take you dinner sometime, or let's meet up for coffee. Crickets. A week later. More crickets. Girl, a month after guy decides not to text anymore. God, why can't I find a great guy? <laughs> this guy's got a typical nice guy face too. Like, I couldn't imagine a more nice guy face if I tried. Duck pics aren't disgusting. It's not rope, it's not a violation. It's not disgusting. If you get an unsolicited duck pic, then tell the man politely that you are not interested and delete it. It's nothing disturbing. It's a freaking penis and every man has one. If a penis disturbs you, then you can't be helped. You are probably watching porn anyway, so what's the matter here? Nobody gets hurt. It's not this sick stuff. It's a man who took a photo of his junk and sends it to you. It's actually pretty brave to do it. I know some girls that even collect them and are turned on by them while saying publicly that they are disgusted. I will never understand it. I accept duck pics and girl pics alike because it's just freaking genitals that I could Google any time. And if I'm not in the mood for them, I simply delete them or tell the person that I'm good. There are worse things in the world, so don't make a big deal out of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right. Hello. You look really sweet. I'm Jay. It's nice getting to meet you. Me and three friends want to gangbang you if you're interested. Then I could take you out to your favorite restaurant. <laughs> you down? I'm a decent looking dom that can take care of you and definitely please you. I'm not nice. I'm freaking amazing. And you will squirt and get dinner cooked for you. I have a boyfriend. I'm the kind of guy that would walk up behind you at the kitchen sink while washing your hands. Grab them, slam them on the edge, lift your skirt, kiss your neck, and rip your panties off and thrist my throbbing member in you hot, soaking wet girl part. Evidently, he don't do it. Okay. But first and foremost, oh, am a gentleman. A special type of dom. Okay. I reply to your whisper. Okay. Don't be mean, I was nice to you. A gentleman. Okay. Darling, obviously you were not happy about something. You started all of this, dude. I told you I have a boyfriend, and instead of taking it like an actual gentleman, you kept being gross. It's okay. I said that before. And darling, I've been around people enough to know when they are not happy. Calm down. No, you kept saying gross sexual stuff after I said I had a boyfriend. Sexual harassment? What is the matter? Oh, an OMG chick. You continuing to harass me is the problem. 
Yeah, that's what us normal people call spazzes nowadays. <laughs> no, you problem existed before me, I tried to help. You didn't help, you were nasty. But it is self-evident, you were just another narcissistic boo. Alright dude, whatever helps you take the L. Lighten up, slapstick! All women want their men to pay attention to them like that. Obviously yours don't, and that's probably the problem. I have no idea what you're trying to say. Your grasp on the English language is obviously very low. Bye. Bye, loser. Hmm, obviously you don't know English or how to act in Lyft. Yeah, I got this from Tinder. Are you single, beautiful? I am. Okay, me too. Do you go for looks or personality, beautiful? Mostly personality, but looks are also important. Okay, am I attractive to you then, beautiful? Honestly, no. No hard feelings, though. You're nice for calling me beautiful in every message, but not physically attractive. For me, at least. Whatever, bitch. <laughs> what did you expect her to say, like? I mean, if you're asking her if you're attractive, then just at least be prepared for the possibility that maybe... Just maybe you're not, you know? Dear girls, dressing immodestly is like rolling around in manure. Yes, you'll get attention, but mostly from pigs. Sincerely, real men. Can I see your face? No, sorry. Why? You said you love feeling pretty. I don't look pretty, I just feel pretty. Also, I enjoy my anonymity. I just wanted to see. I don't mean to harm you or hack you. I have no idea to do that. I'm sorry, but my answer is still no. Not because I don't like you, but just because I'd like to remain completely anonymous. How about Snapchat? Can you do that in Snapchat? Why are you so focused on seeing my face? Just want to know how you look like. That's it. Curly blonde hair, dark brown eyes. There you go. It's a description, not an image. I mean an image. Picture of you. Honestly, you're creeping me out, and I'm gonna block you if you keep asking to see my face, since I've repeatedly told you no. Oh, whatever. I guess it's hard to being a good guy then. Go free yourself. Right back at you, incel. Whatever, bruh. Oh, look. It's a pretty boy. You must be gay. Uh, excuse me? I do have a girlfriend. Lies. Wow. Rude. I'm his girlfriend. You sure have crap taste. You're supposed to date a manly guy. Well, he has his own business, his own house, and buys his own car. In fact, he's polite to my parents too. Yep, he's manly enough for me. Those are pointless if you still look like a girl. Well, good luck finding a girl with that attitude. Come on, dear. We're late for dinner with mom and dad. It's to discuss our engagement, right? <laughs> So this was sent to me by someone on the account that's on my makeup account. I show my makeup skills. I came across your Instagram, and honestly, you're very pretty. I don't know why you feel the need to smother your lovely face in makeup. Your eyes are gorgeous blue orbs. I wish you wore so much less. I'd date you if you did. You'd make an amazing girlfriend, I just know. But you're so insecure and cover yourself up. Show your beauty for once. Yeah, so one cool superpower would be... If you can see how many sexual partners a female has had by a number flashing over her head. This will allow you to know if a girl is a well or not before doing anything nice, such as holding the door open, saying please, thank you, etc. Yeah, because whether you say please or thank you or hold the door open for someone, that should really, oh, definitely be determined by the amount of sexual partners they've had. Spot on. I'd like to talk first and get to know you a little. I want to be friends. I'll take care of you, I'm not a scumbag. You'll have to trust Ting Beginning, and I'll have to trust you. If you are a good baby girl for me, I'll take care of you, you'll see. I'm gonna go full screen some porn, or are you able to do a Skype call to help? No. Okay, so you're just a tease, forget it. Hope you get rolled by an angry gang of dudes. Serve some justice. You went from nice guy to hope you get rolled real quick. <laughs> okay guys, that wraps this video up. If you could follow us on Twitter and Snapchat to stay up to date, that'd be awesome. Thanks a lot for watching the video and showing your support by liking and commenting. Really appreciate that. Anyway, I'm going to go, and I'll see you bitch boys in the next one. Bye.